welcome back to my channel i'm so excited because today i'll be doing a what i eat in a day and i'll be showing you what i like to eat for breakfast lunch and dinner i today is a day that i have a little bit more time so i'll be able to fully show you what i like to eat if you enjoy this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so i just woke up and i got ready and i have a few errands to run but first i like to eat breakfast and for breakfast i love acai bowls they're amazing and inexpensive to make at home compared to if you were to go out to a cafe or a restaurant and buy one so let me just show you what i like to do so starting off i put in these acai packets which i got from trader joe's they come in these little packets that you Take the plastic off and you put it in the blender as well as some frozen blueberries and I use almond milk but you can add any milk that you'd like. Ryan Little. <laughs> I just want to say that the more milk you put in, the more runny it's going to be, but the less milk you put in, it's going to be more thick. So I added a bit too much milk, so I just added some ice to thicken it up a bit. So here's the fun part. You get to add anything you would like on the acai bowls, from whatever nuts you want, whatever fruit, and toppings you'd like. So here I just chopped up some bananas, strawberries, added some granola, and I'm gonna put these in I'm also going to be adding chia seeds and usually I would add coconut chips but I don't have any so I'll be adding coconut flakes these are just from Walmart and these are from Costco So here's the end result. It's not perfect, but it looks delicious. I know it's going to be. And I'm just going to eat this and then be back for lunch. So I just got back from the gym and I'm really hungry. So let's make some lunch. Today I'll be making a plate of different sides, including garlic herb sweet potato fries, some lemon zest grilled chicken and broccoli and maybe some rice. So the key to cooking is multitasking. So while I'm cooking the chicken, the sweet potatoes are gonna be in the oven. So in order to do my lemon zest uh, chicken, I'm starting off by making a marinade that's really good. So I like to eyeball things, but all the exact measurements will be in the description below. So first I'm gonna add some parsley, minced garlic, and olive oil, which will help the chicken retain its moisture so it's not so dry. And I'm going to be adding lemon juice and the acids in the lemon juice will help break down the chicken so it's more flavorful and also some salt to add more flavor. After that I'm going to mix it all up and then put it in a Ziploc bag with the chicken. That way it'll soak up the chicken, marinate, do its thing. So when you eat it, it'll have just so much flavor, especially from the lemon. And then I'm gonna preheat the oven to 425 for the fries. So I just marinated the chicken, I put it in the fridge. So now I'm gonna work on the sweet potatoes. I just preheated the oven as you saw, and now I'm gonna cut my sweet potato. For my garlic herb sweet potato fries, I'm starting off by soaking it in olive oil and minced garlic and salt, then tossing everything all up to make sure all of the fries are covered. Then I'm gonna put everything onto a baking sheet and put it in the oven that was preheated to 425. Each side will be 15 minutes, and then after that I'll take it out and flip all the fries and then do the same thing in the oven for 15 minutes. 
After the chicken has been done marinating, it's time to cook it. So I'm gonna cover a cooking pan with some cooking oil and then put the chicken onto the pan and let it cook for five minutes. Then I'm gonna cover the top layer in salt and pepper so it's ready and flavored when I flip it. So I'm gonna flip it after five minutes and then after five minutes, it's time to take it out. I also wanted some broccoli so I covered it in salt and olive oil and put it in with the fries that were already cooking. Once that was done, I put some parsley and parmesan. The parmesan just brings it all together. So now it's dinner time. It's still pretty early, but I like to eat early. And I'm going to make chicken tacos with this amazing avocado cream that I think you'll really like. I'm going to be using leftover chicken from lunch to put in the tacos. This recipe is similar to guacamole, but it's a little different. I'm going to start off by smashing an avocado, then adding half a lime, chopped cilantro, and a spoonful of non-fat Greek yogurt, along with salt and pepper. Then I'm going to mix everything up, and it's going to make a great layer to put on with the tacos. After heating up the tortillas, I'm going to add a layer of avocado cream, put some of my leftover chicken, chopped cabbage, and cheese. I would also add some tomatoes, but I didn't have any. And that is how I make my easy and delicious tacos. Thank you so much guys for watching, I really appreciate it. Also, let me know what you guys like for me to do next in my next video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!